Hi, welcome to PN Recapped Mystery. Today we explain movie from 2018 called The Darkest Minds. Beware of spoilers watch out and take care and I hope you enjoy the video. In a tragic future, an infectious disease called idiopathic adolescent acute neurodegeneration, IAAN, kills almost 98% of all children and teens living in the United States, leaving the survivors with surprising capacities. These survivors with superpowers are detained all through the country. The children are partitioned into gatherings, green, expanded intelligence, blue, have supernatural power capacities, yellow, can control electricity, red, can handle fire, and orange, can handle and control someone else's mind. Ruby Daly is an orange which implies she has the psionic capacity to get into individual's mind. Children that are red and orange are considered as excessively risky with their powers and expected to be killed immediately, however she touches the doctor who is classifying her and places the idea in his mind that she is a green. After six years, Ruby is assisted with getting away from her jail by a resistance group known as the Children's League to battle for her future. Kate, a worker at the camp, gives Ruby a panic button that can be activated as a tracker when she is in danger. At the point when Ruby gets visions while touching Rob, another League member, she becomes dubious of their goals. Ruby makes her escape with a mute girl named Suzume, Tsu, a yellow. Tsu takes Ruby to Liam, a blue, and his companion Charles also known as Chubbs, a green. The three consent to allow Ruby to go along with them as they are going toward East River a purported safe haven led by an orange named the Slip Kid. The four enter an abandoned shopping center to assemble supplies, where they encounter one more gathering of survivors. The others know where East River is, however the main piece of information they uncover, because of the unpretentious impact of Ruby's power, are the letters EDO. Ruby eventually deduces that this is a radio recurrence, which uncovers a transmission that East River is in Lake Prince, Virginia. Venturing to East River, Ruby requests that the gathering drop her off at her previous home in Salem, Virginia hoping she can accommodate with her parents. Seeing them through the glass door, she understands she made them to forget her and flees. She meets up with Liam, who comforts her and they start to foster a love connection, however Ruby won't touch him, expecting that her powers will hurt him. At East River, Slip Kid is uncovered to be the president's child, Clancy Gray who is an orange. He teaches Ruby how to control her powers, and consequently, has Ruby teach him how to delete individual's memory. During this interaction, Clancy controls her mind and kisses her. It is uncovered that Clancy is utilizing his powers to control the government, and wants to utilize his new memory-erasing powers to become Ruby to his side and fail to remember her companions. Yet she figures out how to escape with the others. Liam escapes with all of the shelter children while Ruby goes head-to-head -head against Clancy, obliterating the camp and making her escape with Chubbs. Chubbs is seriously harmed, leaving Ruby no option except to use her panic button to call the League for help. The League gets Chubbs to a clinic and allows Tsu to leave with a protective family. Ruby convinces Kate to free Liam as a trade-off for having his spot as a soldier in the League. Realizing that Liam won't ever leave without her, Ruby kisses him and deletes each of his memories of herself. Liam leaves the camp, while Ruby starts her preparation with her kindred-powered kids and the League. Somewhere else, Clancy investigates the U.S. Army and government powers. To watch more explanations of these kinds of movies click on the videos on your screen and don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video. In the comments down below kindly like the video and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching.